Gen program. And uh, today's my presentation topic is simulated workplace protection factor of a filtering face piece respirator and the surgical mask against uh, the surgical smoke. So recently, the the use of technology such as uh, the electrocautery and the laser is increasing in the operating room. Uh, according to OSHA, there are about 500,000 healthcare workers being exposed to, to the surgical smoke annually. And the surgical smoke is uh, generated during the uh, surgery process when the surgeon using the electrocautery devices or laser devices to thermally destroy the tissue of the patient. Research found that uh, there are, uh, s uh, the surgical smoke contain particles such as uh, the blood fragment, bacteria, virus, and the lung damage dust. And also it uh, contains about 150 chemicals. Uh, some of the chemicals are human carcinogen, such as uh, the benzene. And some adverse health effects of the surgical smoke uh, include the asthma, eye irritation, and the headache, etc. And the particle size of the surgical smoke uh, is varies depend on the energy method used. Uh, for example, uh, there are uh, three method, uh, energy method used. One is called electrocautery. The particle size of uh, this uh, uh, electrocautery is about 100 nanometer. And also for the second, it's called, uh, it's a laser device, can generate particles, it's around 300 nanometers. And uh, ultrasonic scalpel can generate particles around 350 to 650 uh, nanometers. So basically, the, uh, the sub-micrometer particles had a major contribution to the total particle concentration of the surgical smoke. Right now, OSHA do not, does not have uh, any surgical smoke related standard, and uh, NADIA should just recommend to use the ventilation system to suck in the uh, surgical smoke. And it's, uh, uh, it's a com to use both a general room ventilation as well as a local exhaust ventilation. And another agency called the Associ Association for Perioperative Registered Nurse. And they also have some statement about the uh, surgical smoke exposure. And they recommend to use the personal protective equipment, such as the respirators, to protect the healthcare workers. So due to the lack of consents and the regulations from the uh, surgical and occupational health organizations, um, we think that we should use additional source of protection, such as the respirators, uh, to protect the workers. And uh, proper selection and the use of respirators can reduce or even prevent the surgical smoke. How, um, in the common practice of the operating room, the surgical mask is a required PPE. However, a more efficient N95 FFR is uh, not as common as surgical masks. Probably is because the surgical mask is much cheaper than the um, N95 FFR. Uh, due to uh, there is no study has been conducted on the performance of surgical mask and uh, F N95 FFR against uh, the surgical smoke. So we hope that our study could fill this gap and uh, we will eval evaluate the protection offered by these two respirator protective uh, devices uh, against the surgical smoke in a simulated workplace. The object, uh, the aim of this study is to determine the uh, simulated workplace protection factor of surgical mask as well as N95 FFRs uh, uh, when they were wearing by a, hu a 10 human subject while they are being exposed to the surgical smoke. Here is our experimental setup and uh, totally we have 10 subjects recruited in this study and the um, they will be introduced uh, into this uh, chamber with uh, a room size of about 25 cubic meter. And uh, he or she will, uh, was standing in front of, uh, in this chamber and standing in front of the, the table with uh, animal tissue on it. 
and they will use the electrocautery device to apply on that tissue to generate some surgical smoke. The particle concentration inside of the respirator and outside of the respirator was, uh, cal uh, was measured by a device called Grim NanoCheck. And here is our uh, experimental picture. And on the upper left is our exposure chamber. And uh, w during the experiment, it's totally closed. And uh, a researcher is standing outside this chamber. And uh, here is a control panel. We, the a researcher can s observe the, what is going on inside, of the uh, inside the chamber. And here is uh, one subject. He is. Uh, um, standing in front of the table and with uh, the, the meat, the animal tissue on it, and he is using the a pencil of the electrocautery device applied on this to, to cut this meat uh, in order to generate some surgical smoke. He's wearing the respirator, and uh, you see here is a blue tube is open to outside to measure the outside concentration. And uh, you might not see clear. But in the parallel, there is also a clear tube, which is uh, inserted into this respirator to collect the um, particles concentration inside of the respirator. And both of these tubes are connected to this uh, Grim NanoCheck device, uh, which is give, our, give us uh, the particle concentration. And this is an uh, electroquatery unit we used. And uh, it's located uh, about here, on, also on this cart. And uh, totally, we use uh, four respiratory protective devices. Two of them are surgical masks, and two of them are N95 FFR. And we label them as uh, uh, surgical mask one, surgical mask two, N95 FFR one, and FFR two. And all of these are commonly used uh, in the um, operating room. We calculate the simulated workplace protection factor uh, for each subject uh, when they are wearing each type of respirator. And uh, this is, uh, is determined at the ratio of a particles concentration outside divided by particle concentration inside. Because the device we used uh, can give the size select, uh, can give the particle concentration for each uh, particle size. So we also calculate the particle size specific SWPF values. And here is our result. Uh, you can see uh, this y-axis represent the SWPF values, uh, average SWPF value of these 10 subjects. These blue bars represent the result of the surgical mask. These red bars represent the result of the N95 FFR. And we see that the surgical mask, the uh, that average value is uh, for a surgical mask is uh, one or two. That means that the outside concentration is just uh, one or two times higher than the inside, inside concentration value. So we conclude that this surgical mask barely offer the protection to the workers. And in the, on the contrary, the N95 FFR could offer higher protection, and they have an uh, average SWPF value of about 200. That means if we have uh, 200 particles outside, and we only have one particle inside. So um, another step is with this data, we want to know that uh, uh, if these two surgical masks perform difference, and uh, we also want to know if these two perform difference, and also we want to know if this uh, N95, uh, uh, if this value is significantly higher than this value. So we ran a parity test, and we found that for surgical mask one and two, and there's no significant difference. For N95 one and two, there is no significant difference. Um, but uh, uh, the N95 FFR and surgical mask, when we tested, uh, is a strong significant. That means compared to the N95 FFR, the surgical mask is uh, uh, much lower, has much lower SWPF values. 
This is uh, mainly because the surgical mask, we oh. observe that when the subject wearing the surgical mask, there is a bigger gap and bigger leakage uh, between the surgical mask and the face of the subject. So particles could uh, easily be entered into the rest, into the surgical mask and causing the outside and inside concentration similar. And here is our size selective uh, SWPF values so for these four devices. And uh, on the y axis is the SWPF also. And on the x axis for this four graph is represent the particle size. And uh, each line represents the result of one subject. We cannot see a clear trend here, but uh, we can see that uh, the uh, size selective SWPF values varies depends on the particle size and depends on the uh, subjects. So in order to evaluate the effect of the subject and the particle size, we ran a two-way ANOVA. And we found that for these two devices and the subject uh, is a significant factor. And for the sizes, particle size is not a significant factor. So some conclusion, um, this study suggests that the surgical mask could uh, barely protect healthcare workers. And uh, we should use a more efficient 95 FFRs instead of a surgical mask to protect the healthcare workers. And uh, the second conclusion is the performance of the respiratory protective devices varies depend on the subjects. And the third one is uh, facial leakage is the uh, main penetration pathway for the particles to enter into the respirator. And uh, we recommend uh, healthcare workers should be trained well when uh, on the respirator bearings. So thank you. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank the University of Utah for giving me this opportunity to sharing my result, research result. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, they have, they have uh, local exhaust ventilation, but in our study, we don't uh, <coughs> apply that because uh, if you have uh, local, local exhaust ventilation, it's just uh, at the point of the generator particle, and then it, it sucks very efficiently, so we cannot uh, collect uh, the, uh, the high enough uh, particles. I mean, if all of them, almost most of them are uh, sucking out, so we cannot uh, collect our data. So also, we want to produce a most, uh, what it's called, most worst case scenario. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. I just wondered, is there, have you done anything with um, acceptance of the users? Are they, are they willing to wear an N95 as opposed to the, the surgical mask? So your your question is if a 95 perform much better than surgical mask? Well, they're I mean they're obviously better. I'm just curious that they're probably a little more restrictive as far as breathing and <coughs> sort of things. Mm -hmm. um, and if the medical community was going to learn, I just wonder if there's been any sort of <coughs> communication with them about their, their willingness to wear that over a surgical mask. Uh, yeah, I heard from some of I do some interview about the, to the nurse and uh, they said they 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 can smell the surgical smoke is bad and they they know that it is not good uh, uh, for their house but uh, they uh, they recommend the manager to give them more protection like such as use the 95 FFR but it's just uh, on the process and and you know the surgical mask is uh, cheaper and you need to do a lot, and, and due to there is not so much research on it, so, 
and not so much regulation on it. So it's, I mean, it's on the process. It's uh, not, how to say, not, yeah. If there are no other questions, then let's thank our speaker.